Hello my senior ones, uh, you're welcome to this lesson. Uh, yes, this is um, a, a continuation of where we stopped last time. We are still looking at um, heat and temperature. And in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how to read uh, temperature from an uncalibrated thermometer. That is what we're going to be looking at. Uh, when you look at this diagram here, uh, we are having three parts. We are having <coughs> uh, this diagram here where you have a thermometer which is placed in pure melting ice placed in a funnel. We are having the next we are having the next uh, diagram here which is uh, a still a thermometer which has been placed in steam steam from pure boiling water at the same time we have uh, this thermometer here which is not placed in any liquid or in any, on any material but it is having a marking 0, 10, 20 and so on so the difference between uh, those thermometers there is that uh, in this thermometer it has markings. In this one here there are no markings as well as in this one here there are no markings. So those markings that we're seeing on this thermometer here are what you call the calibrations. The calibration. So in case you have a thermometer which has been given markings like those uh, taking the measurements of temperature from any body is very simple. Simply place the bulb in contact with a body, for example, in the armpits, and then wait for some time. In case the liquid level rises and stops somewhere there, what we read is simply that mark there. So you can simply see that that is a 70 degrees Celsius recorded on the thermometer. Now, in case you've been given a thermometer which has no markings, we call it the un uncalibrated thermometer. In such a case, what we do, we follow some procedures. We follow some procedures, as we're going to be discussing in this lesson here. So, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at terms like the fundamental interval. We're going to be looking at terms like uh, the upper fixed point, what we call the steam point and then the lower fixed point, what we call the ice point, and then we shall use those ones to calculate the temperature of a body. So to begin with, uh, in the case of going to determine the temperature of a body with an uncalibrated thermometer, in other words, a thermometer which has not been given the markings yet, uh, we follow procedures. The first procedure always determine the lower fixed point. We're not going to write, we're not, we're not going to uh, discuss the experiment, but I'm, just, I'm simply showing you what those uh, points there mean. So, the lower fixed point, or what you call the ice point, we define that one as the temperature of pure melting ice. Now, if I may ask that, what is the temperature of ice? All of us will say that is zero degrees Celsius. But the temperature of ice can go as low as less than 0 degrees Celsius. In other words, it can be negative 10 degrees Celsius, can be negative 20 degrees Celsius, and so on. So in this case, we are having what called the pure melting ice. The temperature of pure melting ice is 0 degrees Celsius. 0 degrees Celsius. So uh, we shall determine what to call the lower fixed point, that is the temperature of pure melting ice. We shall mark on the thermometer where, in case this is the thermometer, like this, we shall simply mark off that point there and call it the lower fixed point or the ice point. At the same time, we shall also determine the upper fixed point. Upper fixed point is the same as the steam point. The temperature of steam from pure boiling water is always equal to 100 degrees Celsius. That is at standard atmospheric pressure. So we shall also determine the 
upper fixed point. This one is also very simple. You simply uh, place the thermometer in steam above pure boiling water. Above pure boiling water. And then wait for some time until when the mature level or the liquid level stops rising. Where it stops, you simply make a mark on the thermometer. You can use a marker, you can use anything. You make a mark and call it that one the upper fixed point or the steam point. So once you have defined those two terms, you have located where those two uh, terms are on the thermometer, then getting the temperature of the body is always as easy as we're going to see. So let's first take note of this. What is steam point? What is upper fixed point? That is the same. Steam point, upper fixed point. And then what is uh, ice point? What is the lower fixed point? And then the other term that we'll be looking at is this the uh, the fundamental interval. So you can take note of this. So we are saying that an ice point is the same as the lower fixed point. It's the same as the lower fixed point. We are saying that it is fixed. It doesn't change. Meaning that uh, we can define that as the temperature, the constant temperature of pure melting ice at standard pressure and we're saying that it is normally at zero degrees celsius you can pause and then write down something number two a steam point or what you call the upper fixed point likewise we shall define that one as the constant temperature of steam from pure boiling water at standard atmospheric pressure. I'm saying that it is also always 100 degrees Celsius. And then lastly, uh, the fundamental interval. We can define this one as the distance between the ice point and the steam point. Or you can even change the words and say that it is the distance between the lower fixed point and the upper fixed point. As simple as that. In other words, for example, in case we have uh, this thermometer here, let me try to do something here. In the case I have my lower fixed point here, and then I have my upper fixed point there. Let me use UFP, upper fixed point, or the steam point, and then I have the lower fixed point. The distance between these two is what you call the fundamental interval it is what we call the fundamental interval now i've said that um we, we normally take it that we normally take it that uh, the temperature of pure melting ice is always equal to zero degrees celsius the temperature of steam from pure boiling water is always 100 degrees celsius now in case you divide this space into 100 equal parts divide that into 100 equal parts it means that we're going to come up with uh, a calibrated thermometer in other words for example in case i mark off <clears throat> in case i mark off this into 100 equal parts like that 100 of them it means that I will come up with what I call <clears throat> a calibrated thermometer. Meaning that in case I want to take the temperature of any body, I simply place the bulb in contact with the body whose temperature is needed. And then where the liquid level stops raising, for example, if it stops raising at this point, I simply need to read off that point there. And I simply need to read off that point there. So that is in case they ask that how can we calibrate a thermometer? How can we give it a scale? That is what we do. So in our discussion this morning, I want us to use those terms. There are the three terms. These ones here. And we determine the temperature of a body. You can have these examples here. Number one says that... Um, an uncalibrated thermometer has a fundamental interval of 20 centimeters. Given that the liquid level is at 15 centimeters above the ice point, 
when the bulb is in contact with a body, calculate the temperature recorded on the thermometer. Temperature recorded on the thermometer. Still here, what we do, we can come up with a simple sketch, just a simple sketch of our thermometer. Then, locate where we have the lower fixed point. Locate where we have the upper fixed point. And then, where we have the temperature of the body, we can call that temperature theta, like this. So what we shall do here, we shall call the distance between the liquid level and the lower fixed point, we shall call it x. And then the distance between the upper fixed point and the lower fixed point, we shall call it our distance y. So in order for us to get the temperature theta, we shall simply say that theta is equal to our x divided by our y times 100 degrees Celsius. That is the equation that we are going to use. Always I'm emphasizing this that um, the distance x is the distance between the liquid level and the lower fixed point. That is what I'm saying. And also the distance y is the distance between the lower fixed point and the upper fixed point. So it is always better that you first you first um, calculate for those. Now, with that in mind, let's try to answer our question. We can try to answer our question. In the question, they are saying that um, they are saying that. An calibrated thermometer has a fundamental interval. Remember the definition of a fundamental interval is the distance between the low fixed point and, and the upper fixed point. So the distance here, which we are calling our y, is equal to 20 centimeters. Given that the level is 15 centimeters above the ice point, above the ice point, this distance x, that distance x, me use a different color here that distance x that distance is equal to 15 centimeters so calculate the temperature of the body so what we do here is very simple we shall simply say that our temperature theta is equal to x which is 15 divided by 20 times 100 degrees Celsius when you simplify that when you calculate, our answer will be 75 degrees Celsius. That is our answer to number one. I'm saying that, look at the distance x, it is between the liquid level and the ice point, or the low fixed point, and the distance y is the fundamental interval. Let's have number two. Number two says that given a thermometer whose ice and steam points are 50 millimeters apart, recall, distance apart, so that is the fundamental interval. When the liquid level is 20 millimeters below the steam point, calculate the temperature read from the thermometer. I made a mistake here. From the thermometer. So still, what we shall do, we shall come up with a simple sketch can even draw a line it is very okay and then name the lower fixed point take the upper fixed point and then the temperature theta it can be below it can be above but according to our question they're saying that the distance x is 20 millimeters below So we need to find that distance there. That distance is 20 millimeters. But remember, in our question, we have to get the distance y. The distance y is the fundamental interval. It is equal to uh, 50 millimeters. And then our distance x is unknown. How do we get x? Of course, from the question above there, you can, from that diagram, you can see that x 
plus 20 gives us 50 millimeters implying that our x is going to be equal to 50 minus 20 20 goes to the other side if it was a positive it comes a negative which is equal to a 30 millimeters so once you have got this then you can see that our temperature theta is always calculated from x out of y times 100 degrees celsius to 100 degrees celsius remember the x must be from the lower fixed point to the liquid level and our y between the lower fixed point and upper fixed point so this is the same as when you substitute shall have 30 divided by 50 times 100 degrees celsius so when you compute that we shall find that our answer is equal to 60 degrees celsius that is our number two how about number three it's going to be our last example number three says that for an uncalibrated thermometer it is found out that the ice point and the steam point are at this are at five centimeters and 35 centimeter max respectively meaning that five goes for ice and then 35 goes to steam and then given that the liquid level is 25 centimeters mark is that the 25 centimeters mark calculate the fundamental interval still on this we shall simply come up with a simple sketch we shall say that here we have the lower fixed point we shall have the upper fixed point so they're saying that the lower fixed point is at the five centimeters mark the upper fixed point is at the 35 centimeters mark and then the liquid level where the liquid level is where you have the temperature of the body temperature theta and the liquid level is at the 25 centimeters mark calculate roman one the fundamental interval remember the fundamental interval is the distance y the distance between the low fixed point and upper fixed point the upper fixed point and then the low fixed point and then we have to get our distance y x distance x between the low fixed point and the liquid level so from that diagram we can clearly see that our distance x actually let's begin by getting our distance uh, our distance um, y which is the fundamental interval they're saying that Roman 1 the fundamental interval y it is equal to the upper fixed point minus the lower fixed point the distance apart in other words which is 35 centimeters minus 5 which will give us uh, 30 centimeters as our answer that is the fundamental interval then I also need to get the x our x is equal to 25 minus 5 which will give us 20 centimeters remember these markings here are simply like you've placed a ruler onto the thermometer and then you're marking off the points as 5 uh, 25 and then the uh, 35 centimeter max okay roman 2 roman 2 says that find the temperature of the body so from temperature theta equals to x out of y times 100 degrees celsius when you substitute you shall have our theta equals to 20 divided by 30 times 100 degrees celsius remember that uh, you must include the degree solutions on your answer final answer so in simplify this 20 divided by 30 times 100 we shall get our answer as 66.6666 recurring can round off that uh, degrees celsius and that is our answer to that question so please try uh, to watch the video again or you can pause and read something and so on so i'm stopping here for now
we can try out the exercise in the class thanks for listening and being part of us